It's nice in here, huh? Yeah. What if I told you you could stay here forever? <gasps> It's super hard because this year I want to give my children with a more family gift back on their home. And so here is my labor of love. Kimara secretly bought her family a house after separating from her partner of 22 years. We went our separate ways and I was unable to afford the house that we had, so we kind of lost everything. But going from being basically homeless, living in other people's basements for about eight months, to save up enough money to the smaller house that we were in, which was a two bedroom, but with five kids and an adult, you know, that, that's still a close quarters. And so I was like, we can't even function like this. The kids' grades were dropping. I was frustrated. It was just a lot. So I was just prayed. I'm like, okay, God, give me the strength to figure it out. She told us she started braiding hair, got a job with Amazon, and continued teaching in the classroom. It was like 20 hour days, like five days a week. And I'm not gonna say it was fun, <laughs> but I just kept thinking about the end result. And that end result finally came. Tuck your feet. It's pretty. It's pretty. Oh, let me see. <laughs> oh, that is pretty. She told her kids she rented an Airbnb so they could relax and bake cookies like they used to do in their old home. But they had no idea they were actually already in their new home. What if I told you you could stay here forever? <gasps> oh. What if I told you this is why I've been working all this time? It's your house? I actually was proud of myself. I was like, Lord Jesus, I, I mean, these kids don't deserve this. I mean, I don't think I deserve it either, but that's a whole nother story. But with kids, you know, they're looking to you to have all the answers and to be the calm in the storm. And so um, for me to be able to make it happen and to tell them, because I would always tell them everything is going to be okay. I'm going to make sure that everything is okay. Eventually, we'll all be okay. Everybody is I mean, your, your home is your castle. I mean, you just really want to relax and put your feet down and have peace there, away from the hustle and bustle. Are you so happy? Who wrote it? It's yours. <laughs> <laughs> Always believe in your dreams no matter whatever they are, instead of just giving up. So that spirit of perseverance and grit and just motivation and trying to not let it define you. Like, it's easy to kind of get sunk down, like, oh my God, this is my life. But it's just a small part of your life. And, you know, you are the author of your own life story. So it's up to you how it's going to end. So of course, you know, life is going to turn it, throw its plot twist in there with all kind of crazy. But at the end of the day, you gotta figure out how to maneuver through that and make the next chapter the best one yet.